Megan Rockstrack and I am just going to show you guys how to get started on sending out some little mini samples of the basic package. So a little Enviro cloth and a little window cloth. Um, I have been sending and giving samples to anyone and everyone that I can think of. Um, it has been such a game changer. Online I use a Google form um, or in person I will just hand them out to people. I give them to my mom, she hands them out to people. If someone's coming for porch pickup, I have a cute little basket of samples on the porch and I tell them feel free to grab samples or a catalog. Um, we know how important it is to actually have the product in their hands and try it um, to see how great it really is and um, what it can do. So. This is, this can be super simple, or there are some kind of advanced things that you guys can do. So do what works for you, um, kind of change it and adapt it um, to what will make you most successful. If you aren't familiar with Google Forms, um, you don't need to do a Google Form. Like just do whatever works for you. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys what, what I do. So um, first of all, I start out with a full size window cloth. You can use any of the window cloths you have and I cut it into 16 pieces, okay? So I cut it in fourths and then in fourths again and then they're eventually this size. Um, I am able to get the zigzag by using, you can either use pinking shears, which are these special scissors or you can use a rotary cutter which is this, and it's basically like a little pizza cutter, but it does the zigzag. Um, and the reason for the zigzag is that it prevents fabric from fraying, the edges fraying and shredding, shedding and everything. Um, I have found with the, the window cloth really doesn't shed that much, um, but the Enviro cloth does. So if you cut it with regular scissors, it's just gonna be everywhere. Um, you really need to use the pinking shears and um, I have actually found that if you cut it at a little bit of an angle, it makes it better. Um, one Direction, I don't know a lot about fabric, but I'm sure some of you guys do. One Direction really doesn't like shed or fray that much, but the other direction does. So that other direction, um, if I do it at an angle, it, doesn't shed or fray as much. So just kind of do what works for you. Um, I honestly, what held me back for a long time sending these samples is I thought that they were too small. And then I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a try. So I went in my bathroom, spread some lotion on the mirror, and I used the two little samples pretending like, what if I received these in the mail? Um, and it was totally fine and it totally worked and they're really small so you can't really clean your whole house with it you need larger size obviously um but you could see what the product does um yeah so it's just great okay so i cut this into 16 pieces and then i also cut the enviro cloth into 16. some people do 12. i find that 16 um is just fine that's big enough for me so um, and then, so I use a Google form to collect their information. And um, I will post the Google form. It basically asks them their name, their mailing address. Um, you can ask if they were here for a party, if they're interested, if they've heard of Norwex before, who they were referred by. You can kind of change that to whatever information you wanna collect. Um, and then I print out so here's what I send them. I send them a little document and I will upload this as well. It says, yay, Norwex samples. I know they look small, but they are mighty. Let's give this a try. And it kind of walks them through how to clean um, like a mirror in the bathroom or the kitchen. Um, and then it will tell them that the textured one is their Enviro cloth and the smooth one is their window cloth. Um, yeah, so I, I print these out on colored and you could even do black and white really. Um, and then you can include either, either a business card or like just, I have these little thank you cards with my contact information here. 
I just printed these out um, four to a page and then I just cut them so if you don't have business cards you can still do something like this you can write your contact information on a post-it note like whatever it is just make sure that they can get a hold of you somehow so I will put the window cloth sometimes you have to fold the edge of it just a teeny tiny bit um, the key is to try to keep your mail as flat as possible so that it fits through the little slot for the post office people. Um, and then I put this right on top. And then if you want to do a business card as well, you can. And then just try fold. You can see how thin it is. And then I personally really like using um, colored envelopes because I just feel like they're a lot more fun. You see them in the mail better, you notice them a little bit better. Um, it's like, ooh, who did I get mail from? So I use colored envelopes. You don't have to, whatever works, but the business size is really key. So business size like this, I use the little peel one so I don't have to lick it. And then I have the return address labels from Vistaprint. But again, you can just hand write out your um, return address. And these typically weigh, I have a scale, but you don't have to have a scale. These typically weigh about point, let's see. Oops. They usually weigh about 0.7 ounces. Yep, 0.7. And so under one ounce, you can just use one stamp. So seal it up. Put your return address on, put your stamp on, and then you can put it in the mailbox and you're good to go. Um, another thing that I sometimes do is on my little thank you card, I can write on the back and say like, hey Susie, hope you guys are doing well, enjoy, let me know if you have any questions. That just kind of shows them that it's coming from a real person, it's not coming from a robot or an assistant, and it could be an assistant, um, or a machine, you know, it's just like, hey, a person, you know, wrote on here. Um, I also like to handwrite their address. I don't do well with labels, <laughs> but um, handwriting their address also shows them that it's like from a real person, you know? Um, okay, so that is the basics. And let me tell you guys a few more things um, that you can do to kind of take it to the next level if you want. Um, a couple things you can do with your Google form. So you collect all of the information and you just have an ongoing Google form of their responses. So right now I have like 33 responses. Then you can export that and it goes into a spreadsheet and then you can put that spreadsheet into Project Broadcast and then create a follow-up campaign. Um, and if you're like, what the heck is that? <laughs> no need to start there. Just start with this. Just mail them some little pieces. But if you use Project Broadcast and you love it and you're super familiar with it, um, that is really helpful. So you can also keep track on your spreadsheet of like who you sent them to or did you follow up? Did they buy anything? Um, you can kind of like track your results like that, which is kind of nice. And let's see what else. I will give you guys the, the Amazon links for all of um, the supplies. I did get some supplies at um, like Michael's and Joann's, but Amazon is also great. And let's see, um, a few things that are really helpful. First of all is having all of your supplies ready. So I have this little thing here, just a little office thing with the return address labels, my thank you cards, business cards, so I can easily just grab what I need. Um, another thing that I actually like to do when I have time is I will just prep, prep a bunch of samples and just have them ready to go in an envelope so that when I get a request in, I can just write their um, name and address or I can set it out on the front porch for them or send some with my mom to give out, like I said. Um, so having them prepped and ready to go is really helpful. Um, 
And then as you're like working through the process, just kind of think about like, okay, what, what is holding me back? Like what is holding me back from doing this? So personally, the size was holding me back for a long time. So I overcame that by trying them out myself and they totally worked. Um, maybe a Google form, maybe that sounds really scary and that's holding you back. You don't have to use a Google form. Just um, get the person's name and address, mail them their samples, and then make a note on your notepad that you sent them and then follow up however you want. Um, you don't have to do project broadcast. You can contact them through Facebook Messenger. Just think about like what is holding you back and how can you potentially overcome it? Like it's, you know, just identifying the hurdles and then just knowing like, oh, I'll, I don't have to do that. Like all that really matters is getting these two little pieces of microfiber in someone's hands to try them for the first time because we know, we know, no, no, how life changing they can be. So whatever makes you most likely to succeed in that um, is key. So do what works for you and what works for your business. Um, another thing, what else was I going to say? Oh, I like to use um, cute stickers. Like on the back of it, I'll seal it with like a cute sticker. Um, just like a little fun extra thing. Um, I am going to give HP Instant Ink a try. Um, I've heard that it saves you a lot of money and you can print based on how many pages you print, not necessarily how much ink is on each page. So I have an HP printer and I'm gonna try the Instant Ink. Um, also, if you are going to be using these samples in Facebook parties um, or even any kind of party, you can give your host, like let her know that all of her party people can get samples from you before the party starts. So you could even start getting samples out to the guests like two weeks before the party starts. And that way they will get them, they'll try them, they'll ask any questions. And then when the party comes, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm ready, I'm excited, I need this stuff. So um, that is really helpful too. So getting the samples in the party people's hands before the party starts. So um, that is good. And I think that that is about it. Let me see if I had anything else for you guys. I mean, like I said, I'm just kind of adapting this as we go. Um, okay, I think that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions, um, any hurdles that you're having trouble overcoming. Um, these can make such a big impact. So I urge you to just take the plunge and start sending out some samples, okay? Thank you guys.